Hey, I am about to head into Hobby Lobby. Um, I want to get some more art supplies. I want to get better colored pencils and see if I can improve the uh, quality of my art um, with the materials in addition to with the skill. I'm working on both, uh, but I want to see, I don't want professional grade or anything, but I think the pencils I'm using are, they're fairly like hard. So it's hard to get uh, to blend and to get a depth of color. Um, so I, you know, use chalk pastels when I want to get depth of color, but, um, I bought an online art course and the lady was saying her pencils, like that she uses, they actually blend. And I found out there's something called soft core colored pencils, which I had no idea. So I am anyway, I'm going to go into Hobby Lobby. I'm going to see if they have hopefully student grade, um, soft core colored pencils, um, so that I can kind of follow along with the lady in the course that I bought, um, and, you know, learn to draw better. So, and I'm hopefully going to get a frame um, for a really nice thing I got at our, <clears throat> excuse me, PM onsite a couple of weeks ago. We each had to write down something nice about each other and then we all got our sheet of paper to take home. And it's just, it's so heartwarming and nice and I'm so happy. And I want to frame mine because it's so sweet and it'll be a good memory from the trip. So anyway, a frame and some colored pencils. Gonna head into Hobby Lobby and see what I can get. So, they have a lot here, but uh, it looks like I'm going to have to order my pencils on Amazon because they don't have sets of the soft core pencils. I could get them here individually, but they're $2.30 each and I was picking out colors and I realized I'm up to $50 and I don't even have everything I need. So I ended up putting them all back, which took a minute because then I had to find where they each belong. Um, so I'm going to have to instead try to find a set on Amazon and hope that that is cheaper than buying them individually here. So that's slightly disappointing because I can't start as soon as I had planned, but you know, whatever. Um, <laughs> and then I bought a set somewhere over here, like one of these sets um, of just, you know, black pencils because I've been using like a writing pencil <laughs> to sketch. So now I will actually have um, some of these with an eraser and a sharpener to sketch with. So that's a start. And then I'll get the colored pencils later. All right, all done. So uh, not getting the pencils was disappointing. However, I did get my frame for my thing. So I'm very excited about that. That will go up somewhere. It'll be a great reminder of my trip and of the wonderful people who I work with. If any of you are watching this, love you guys. You are awesome to work with. It was a great on-site. Thank you, Amanda, my manager, for arranging it. It was wonderful. Um, but yeah, so now I'm going to swing by Hardee's and grab some fries, and then I'm going to go to a soccer game. My younger nephew, Kai, is playing at a soccer game. So I'm going to grab some food and head over there. And then I think after the soccer game, I'm swinging by my mom's place. So she's still setting it up after moving into my sister's, and she's really excited and wants to show me um, her space and everything she's done since I was last there. So... Swing by, hang out with mom for a bit after the game, and then I will go home, probably do a little, little bit of cooking, and then relax. So I have a little bit of a busy day today, but it's all good. I'm enjoying myself, and um, I'll get rest later. Well, it is Sunday, and I am relaxing today, as you can tell from my robe. <laughs> I'm very comfy, cozy, relaxing, just having a rest day today. After all the travel this uh, past couple of weeks, and uh, yesterday I did, you know, put some shopping and some cooking. And so today I'm just, I'm just, I'm just relaxing. I'm just sitting today and I am enjoying just sitting uh, today. Tomorrow I get back mostly into routine. I do have a dentist appointment in the morning. So slightly out of routine still, but not like in a big way, like travel. So, <laughs> so that is good. Um, so mostly back to routine starting tomorrow which is good. Um, I'm looking forward to just things being fairly normal again. Uh, and Snidely is happy that I am home for real now. No more travel. And so he gets to have his mama with him all the time. He's down here. That's why I keep kind of leaning like that. He's at my feet and I'm patting him because he's very happy that I'm here. Um, one thing I'm a little bit sad about, my, my Belgian chocolates that I got <laughs> from my friend who went, who went to Belgium. I only have three of these left. There were 20 in this box. There are three left. And I'm very sad because I want this to be an infinite box. I want it to just never empty. Like I want a magic Harry Potter self-refilling <laughs> chocolate box. Sadly, 
It is a real life, not self-refilling chocolate box. Only have three left. I'm gonna make them count. They've all been amazing. They've all been delicious. My least favorite was filled with caramel and it was still good. Even though it was my least favorite one. I was like, this is yummy. I don't like as much as the others, but it's yummy. So very sad. And yes, I did check Amazon to, <laughs> to see if I could get more of them, knowing that it wouldn't be as good as straight from Belgium. I'm really hoping they are not as in, um, expensive in Belgium as they are on Amazon, because if so, I owe my friend a lot. <laughs> it's like a box like this was like, no, I think it was actually a different box, but this brand on Amazon, they had like an assorted box of dark chocolates, that brand on Amazon, $75, seven five point zero zero. I mean, they're good, but no. <laughs> Plus it wouldn't be, it even, wouldn't even be as good like coming from Amazon as what she brought straight back from Belgium. So yeah, anyway, it's fine. I mean, I'm enjoying them while I eat them. I'm just gonna have to savor the last three, try to spread it out. I still have the, the expensive chocolates I bought on my first trip at the random chocolate store we passed that I talked about. I do still have four, five, four or five, I don't remember. I have four or five of those chocolates left still. And on my most recent trip, I bought some chocolate truffles. And I know what you're thinking. You are thinking right now, Christy, I think you have a problem. And you would be correct. I do, in fact, have a problem. I have a chocolate problem. I'm well aware of that, but I mean, it's chocolate. And you know what? Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Chocolate comes from the cacao bean, which comes from a plant, which means chocolate is salad so i'm actually doing really i am i love salad when it's the chocolate kind so yeah i'm doing great i'm practically on a diet so anyway um i also as you know uh, from the, what i filmed yesterday i um i did end up ordering the color pencils on amazon that i talked about that i couldn't get at the store and they actually arrived today. Um, they shipped and, and arrived same day. So let's see, um, this, is, this is what it is. So I have this one, so they're Premier. And um, what's cool about these is, I, I did look at the individually sold ones in the store. They're like softer. So like when I ran my finger across one, a little bit of color actually came off on my finger. And I think that's what's gonna allow me to get some like better depth of color than I was with my current colored pencils, which are just, they're like hard, you know, like a normal one you would think to write with. It's more like that. These are a little bit more crayon like like you get so I'm hoping that 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 will be good. So these are it's a manga set so it has um these kind of bright colors in it. And then this is exciting. This set is a portrait specific set. So it has colors for portraits. So kind of skin tone colors. It's hard hard to see because it's like metallic, but those are the colors. And so that's going to be super cool. I'm very excited about that. So I have 24 pencils in this um, portrait set. And then I have 23 colors in this manga set. So between, this one is mostly obviously for skin tones. And then I'll probably use this one for like clothing accessories or things on my people that I draw. So I'm super excited. I will get to open these sometime soon. And um, you know, I'm gonna continue working on improving my drawing skill. Um, I haven't finished the two online courses that I bought. So I'm, I'm gonna kind of continue watching those slowly. My goal is to draw, um, at least on weekdays anyway, or on work days, whatever, um, 10 minute, at least 10 minutes a day. Like just do little, you know, like little exercises or something. So I'm drawing every day. And then the actual, like the main portraits that I've been posting as shorts um, on YouTube and everything, those uh, once a week. So that's kind of the goal. Um, so I may or may not, I'm, I hopefully will draw this evening, even if it's just a 10 minute one. Um, I had been doing a portrait every week, but with the travel, I, ha I didn't do one last week and I haven't done one this week. Um, so most likely I won't do a portrait today. I'm still just feeling pretty, a little bit run down just with everything that's been going on. Not like a bad way or anything, but just, it takes real concentration. Like I have to sit there for like a good, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour usually to do the drawing and I just don't know if I'm up to it today. <laughs> we'll see. But I can definitely at least get 10 minutes in to do like a little exercise or something if nothing else. Um, 
So we shall see. I don't know. I may I may kind of go uh, the second week without doing a, an actual portrait that I post, but I'll definitely do one this coming week. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get back fully back into routine, and that includes doing my drawing. So, um, I think, let's see, for work should be fairly normal. I mean, it's still super busy at work, um, but it should be pretty normal. And I got some really great ideas, and I'm, I'm kind of fired up for work because of the two trips that I just took. So that's cool. Um, something to look forward to. I have to write a like speech because um, they have something called, what's it called? No Limits Learning that they've been doing, which was sort of like a, it was just like a, I don't know, it was a meeting where somebody would talk, but it, was, it wasn't necessarily work related. So it could be on topics that were more personal. It's hard to explain. Um, anyway, so now they're doing another version of that that they're calling NL, NLLX. So it's sort of like those TEDx talks. And so there's somebody will come and kind of do a little speech and then there's a Q&A after. And I'm going to do it for March. So I actually have to write my thing. And I've started. I definitely I started writing it. It's about halfway written. And then I had all my travel and I didn't finish. But the good news is I got some really good ideas to finish it on my trips. So <laughs> um, I'm fired up for that too. I go back to work. I have some stuff to do for work specifically, like my actual role stuff for work that I'm fired up about. And I'm fired up about finishing my speech for my NLLX thing. So that's all very exciting. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to my work week this week. Um, okay, so I'm almost done. That's almost it for today, but uh, before we finish up, let's real quick do our question of the week. All right, there we go. We're ready. We have our chat pack. We're going to randomly pick a question out of the chat pack. Let's see what we got. Almost everyone can recall a missed photo opportunity because they did not have a camera. What moment above all others do you wish you could have caught on film? So not a moment exactly, but I am constantly trying to catch Snidely being adorable and I just never manage it. I, I, can, I can get him like in a picture. I can usually catch him pretty well, but like I want to film him sometimes and he just doesn't cooperate. Like he'll be doing something. I'm like, oh, I'm going to film that. And then I grab the, the phone and he stops doing it or something he does regularly. And I think I'm going to catch him doing it this time. And then he doesn't do it. So yeah, it's usually snidely something. I, as far as like other like moments or something like that, I can't really think of anything. Um, I don't, I mean, until I started doing content, I didn't really take photos a lot. I mean, except for my cats, I, I did. But like family stuff, I didn't really take photos very much <laughs> before or like video or anything. Um, Oh, although, although I just thought of something non snidely, snidely related um, that I missed. So uh, was that Christmas time? Yeah, when I was over at my sister's for Christmas this year, um, my brother-in-law, uh, it was it was chilly. And so my brother-in-law lit the fireplace. We wanted to be like really cozy in the living room. And for some reason, their chimney was not doing its job. And um, the, the room got smoked out. And we ended up all having to leave the living room. <laughs> He had to put the fire out. We all had to leave the living room and open the windows until the smoke came out. And uh, later, my mom was to, uh, saying, why didn't you film any of that for your, for your vlog? And I was like, I mean, I didn't think of it. <laughs> I was too busy trying to get out the living room, get out all that smoke. So that is one thing that would have been fun if I'd caught on film that I did not. But for the most part, it's Snidely not cooperating with me. <laughs> and that's it, I think. I think that's it for, the, for today's vlog. Um... Like I said, getting back to routine, excited for work, sad I'm running out of, out of my Belgian chocolates, but happy I have plenty of other chocolates. <laughs> I have my new colored pencils. I'm raring to go. So uh, let's go ahead and end this uh, in prayer. So Lord, I thank you so much for bringing me back safely from all of that travel. Thank you for the opportunity to travel um, for work. It's been really great. Really glad that I have this job, that I have all these opportunities to grow professionally, to meet really great coworkers. So thank you for keeping all of us safe and healthy, um, bringing me back home safely. Pray for everyone who's watching this. Um, if anything is bothering them, if there's anything they're struggling with, um, I pray that they will know that you are with them, that you will help them through whatever it is that they are, they are dealing with. 
um, that they would feel your love and your presence as they go about their days and their lives. If there's anyone who doesn't know you, Lord, who wants to, I pray that they will reach out, that they will seek you. Um, and I just want them to know that uh, those who seek you always find you because you're there and you're waiting for us to turn to you. So thank you so much for everything, Lord, that you do in our lives. I love you in Jesus' name. And thank you for watching this vlog. And uh, um, as I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna sign off with a with a blessing that is in number six, 24 through 26. It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace. And with that, I'll see you next time. Bye.